J. Pinkerton Audiobooks presents Terminal Disease Written by J. Pinkerton Featuring the voices of Shelley Anderson Tahiri and J. Pinkerton What's the matter, honey? Nothing, baby. Nothing at all. Did something happen at the doctor's office? No. Nah, just a routine checkup. No big deal. Diana Kissinger left the living room. She didn't fully believe her husband, Gerald. She had been married to him long enough that she could tell when something was bothering him. Alone at last, Gerald's mind began to race. The light in the living room bothered him. He snapped it off so he could think more easily. I have to face it, he thought to himself as he paced back and forth. All I have is six months. Six months to live. Maybe less. Diana must never know. But why did this have to happen to me? I've worked my ass off for years. And finally, now that I'm on top of the world and can give my sweet wife everything she wants, I learned that I'm about to die. Gerald's steps became slower. The doctors can't even tell me what kind of disease this is. They say they've never saw it before. All they know is that I'm slowly melting away inside. What luck! Gerald flopped down onto the sofa. I knew I was sick. But I never expected this. Those x-rays. Damn those x-rays. If I could rule the world, I would outlaw x-rays. Let me die. Fine. So be it. But I don't want to know every step of disintegration. His pale skin began to sweat profusely. There's only one thing I can do. I have to end it. I don't want to go through the rest of the stages. And I can't make Diana suffer alongside me. Neither of us needs to watch me slowly melt away like a burning candle. He rushed to the desk, opened the door, and pulled out the Beretta that he kept there. He grinned as he palmed the firm steel. This'll take care of everything. Gerald sped into the bathroom and locked the door behind him. He heard the phone ring, and a couple of minutes later, there was a noise and a knocking on the door. Gerald! Gerald, open the door! Diana sounded worried. No. He wasn't about to be stopped. It was probably the doctor on the phone. He had probably told Diana. No, he wasn't going to let this make her miserable, and he wasn't about to drag it out. Better to get it over with now and save them both half a year of suffering. Gerald, open the door! Just know that I love you more than the world, baby. Goodbye. <laughs> Gerald, honey, what was that? What's going on in there? Open this damn door! The doctor's on the phone. He called to tell you that he had the wrong x-rays. The End This has been a J. Pinkerton Audiobooks presentation.